All right, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show you how the ScanoScan LIDE 100 scanner works on Linux. Now, when you hear it works on Linux, it sounds crazy for you because you know there is no driver, it's unsupported, and how it could work on Linux. The question is reasonable, but there is a logical explanation as far as I can say. So, uh, I write this because one user, one particular user, he asked me like how to do it. His name is Peter, I'm gonna show you his email. Uh, he asked a question, I replied him, and yeah, this is his email. Uh, Peter Strauss, cool guy. So, now, first of all, you need to download Virtual Machine. You do it like this, you go to virtualbox.org, download, and do VirtualBox for Linux hosts, and this I use for Jaunty Jacklog. Which one you use, I have no idea, it depends upon which Linux distribution you have. So now we close it and next thing that we done is that we run VirtualBox. So let's do it. Let's do it up and running. Okay. So but there is one thing that you have to set up also. This thing is in control center and uh, you will see now how to access it. Just a second. Yes, here. So we go to users and groups it will pop up, don't worry. Okay, properties, first unlock, then properties. And if you have unlocked it, you will be able to mount, uh, to to click here, use VirtualBox. VirtualBox has to be allowed, it has to be have using user privileges and this has to be clicked. Now, we go back to uh, what where we started and this is VirtualBox. On it, I have installed a Windows uh, Service Pack 3 I mean Windows XP service pack 3 and I use it just for scanners so I don't use it for serving I'm not crazy to do it if I would do it machine would collapse sooner or later uh, as I do it like this this machine is quite quite enduring and I believe it will least until judgment day at least you know I mean by then for sure but what happens later I think I'll be disconnected from it yeah probably I think there will be no no Linux machines or Windows machines in heaven. So let's do it. Now, with Control F, you do a full screen. But to have a full screen, you have to uh, have installed Guest Edition. So when you install uh, Windows, you install Guest Edition too. Now, we go with Control F to full screen. Okay, now we have it. Now we can run it. So go to Devices, USB Devices. And so first what you have to do is to connect scanner with the computer and then click here. So now this uh, uh, this computer will, uh, I mean now this USB entry of scanner will be transferred from your host machine, Linux, to guest machine, Windows. And now it's recognized here. And next thing that we have to do is that we have to run program for scanning. Um, yeah, that's... Uh, uh, yeah, that's that's kind of it. And now you're gonna see how how it works. So we we will run it. We have it up and running. So photos, documents, scan. So it's I mean it's that easy, you know. It's 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 it's, it's a piece of cake, you know. Now let's do a scan. We have to wait. I, I hear the scanner, you know. Okay, now scanner does it. And uh, yeah, we need to wait for it to work. Just a mm, few seconds more. Okay, it works. Yay! Yay! Okay, exit. Now, save file. We browse it. We find it where we want to save it. Uh, file type. What's the file type? File type is this, whatever, yeah, what he types. So, save. Yay, now we go to open saved location. Yeah, this is here, this image, yep, a good. So, uh, let's now, uh, let's now, uh, like, let's now open it. It's here, it put it here funny put it up there so 
let's open it open up boy what's wrong with you ah okay you are here so uh, from before i have uh, i have already uh, i have already once before uh, scanned it so it was like this but then i of course edit it and i wrote hello peter my old friend yeah so that's the way how you can use it on linux i mean on windows yeah in linux so i hope that you enjoyed what i uh, explained to you i hope you enjoyed this very much and uh, i hope we see one more time again so goodbye for goodbye for today ladies and gentlemen and goodbye peter